Hey guys, today I'm filming a different kind of video. This um, might be something I'll start doing depending on how this, excuse me, depending on how this one goes. And this is going to be a monthly makeup basket. Uh, Shades of Cassie, who is a beauty guru here on YouTube, excuse me, she puts up one of these videos every week. And I don't have enough makeup to rotate through every week. Uh, so I'm just going to do it every month. And um, this will be a combination of things that I think I'll wear during that time or things that I haven't used in a while and and really want to start using. And to kind of to get out of the rut of using my same everyday products. Uh, so I'm just going to get started. So I'm just going to start with face. The first being my primer, which I only have one primer. This is the Sephora Anti-Shine Primer. Then um, I think for most of the winter, I'm going to be wearing my Revlon Colors, my Revlon Colors Save Liquid Foundation. This is in the shade 155. My under eye concealer would be the Maybelline Dream Mousse Concealer in 01 Light. Fair. You can see I've hit major pen on this. I kind of scrape. I'm scraping the sides right now, but I do have a backup, and this is a discontinued product. I have my Hard Candy Glam Flash Concealer and Light for my blemishes. I'm sorry for the hiccups. I don't know why that happens when I try to film. Then, um, to set everything, I'm going to use my Maybelline Dream Matte Powder. And I'm hitting pan on this too, which means that this will run out pretty quickly. I find when I start hitting pan, this kind of starts to shatter. So, also guys, please leave a comment below if any um, face powders that you really like. Because I've used this and I feel like I want to try something else. I mean, it was it worked it worked fine, but sometimes it makes me look a little cakey, so I want to try something else. And for bronzer, my Benefit Benefit Hula, which is my everyday bronzer, and this is, I've actually hit pan on this too, which is kind of sad. <laughs> Excuse me, but I think this will still last me a long time. I've been hitting pan on a lot of things recently, it's pretty crazy. And I have a bunch of different blushes to show you guys that I want to try to wear. Um, first two are e.l.f. HD blushes and more um, plummy fall colors. Um, this one is Encore and Showstopper, a berry and like a dark, a dark plum. I need to wear those some more. And then I have an e.l.f. Studio Powder Blush in Berry Mary, which I wore this yesterday and really liked it. Then I have the Maybelline um, Dream Mousse Blush and Soft Plum, which this is discontinued as, as well. Um, but I still want to use it. And I actually really do like this product um, a lot. I just don't wear it enough. I always save it for this time of year. Uh, and then I have my Sonia Kashuk Powder Blush in Tawny, which is just a nice, like, nudie color, natural color, I mean. And then contour, same everyday contour, which I also have gotten a um, hit pan on and this is NYX taupe blush you can see the pan on that oh my goodness I've hit pan on so many things right now which is crazy because I feel like that never happens to me but a lot of these things are my everyday products and I want to try to highlight my skin this month because that's that's definitely the thing I'm the most lazy on that I don't do is highlight so I've got a powder and a liquid I have the hard candy um, Blush Crush Baked Blush in Pinup, and I know I did not use this much. I dropped it on the floor and it shattered. So here's what I've got left, and I want to try to use this up and then maybe get um, Tiki instead, which, which is a bronzer. Um, and then I also have my Benefit High Beam, and then I want my face gets a little a little cakey, so I kind of want in the winter. So I just want to set it, uh, which I'm lazy on this too. This is my e.l.f. makeup mist and set. Now, I don't really care about this setting my skin. I don't know if it does, but I want to try to, like, refresh my skin. I think I'm going to pick up, um, like, when I, around Christmas time, when I go to see my boyfriend, I think I want to get a Max, Max Fix, Fix Plus so I can, like, not, because I know it's not a finishing spray. It's, uh, like, a setting spray, but I just want it to refresh my skin and help me not look so cakey. So, these hiccups will not go away. So now, eyes for primer I want to use my Urban K Minis the original and Sen I hardly I don't use 
Santa hardly ever, but the original I'll take with me traveling and stuff. I usually use my e.l.f. one, but I want to use these. The, excuse me, then for eye bases, um, in the crease. I mean, this will switch depending on my eye look, but the ones that I probably end up will wear the most are my Maybelline Color Tattoo and Toughest Tote. Excuse me, which I wear in the crease, my crease, almost every day. Uh, then Max Paint Pot and New Bottle for the lid. And it'll be either this or my Milani Shadow Eyes Pencil and Champagne Toast, which these are great products. Then for eyeshadows, I have a couple eyeshadows that I, um, I don't wear very often that I want to start bringing out, and then ones that I wear a lot that are perfect for this time of year. So the one that I don't wear very much is this Hard Candy um, Beige Shadow Duo in High Maintenance, which is talked about a good bit here on YouTube, so I want to want to use this a little more. And I have this Mary Kay eyeshadow in granite, which I really like, but I just haven't been using recently, but I, I do really like this. It's just, a, just like a pretty taupe color, shimmery taupe. Then um, I have Urban Decay's Single in YDK, which is a gorgeous color. This gets a lot of fallout, but that does not bother that does not bother me. And then the, those are shadows I don't use often. These are ones I know I'm going to use a lot. And this would be the Too Faced Naked Eye Palette. This has like become my go-to look. This day look here. But I want to try to use um, the classic look and the fashion look. I, I do the day look all the time. I want to try, try to use the other ones this month as well. Then for eyeliner, I have my Maybelline Line Stiletto. For mascara, I wanted to use some of my more neglected mascaras, so I've got the Maybelline Define a Lat Volume, which I really do love. Um, the Clinique High Impact Mascara Sample that I have, and the Maybelline Mega Plush. Then for lips, I have three things. I uh, a lot of these things that I'm talking about in this video I've mentioned in my Fall Beauty Favorites, which I'll link up here. But I want to start wearing these. Um, because I love my springy colors, so I'm trying to get into my fall colors. And I have my Revlon Lip Butter in um, Very Smooth A, which is, which is a really gorgeous color and awesome for fall because it's very wearable. My Revlon Just Bent Kissel Balm Stain in Honey and Crunch. Oh my gosh. Okay. Guys, so thank you so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And um, leave place in the comment below videos you'd like to see from me and also a good a good drugstore powder. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye, guys.